Hey guys, today on Kuhner DIY, we're gonna be switching it up a little bit and we're gonna be changing the oil on a 2018 Chevy Cruze LT. Stick around if you'd like to see how I did it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do when we're doing an oil change here is you're gonna to wanna, to, of course, slide up your oil catch can right here. All right, now uh, to get the oil drained, uh, we're gonna to wanna to remove the drain plug and this should be a, uh, a size 15 millimeter socket. Sometimes if it's a little bit stu stubborn, you can get an extension uh, brake bar and uh, break it open like that, which it looks like I'm going to have to do on that one. All right, now that it is broken loose, we can go on ahead and switch back to the smaller one. Now we just want to make sure the pan is lined up underneath and just pop out our bolt. All right, there you go. That's all there is to it. We'll just let that drain out and then after that's done we'll button that back up and we'll do the oil filter all right now the next thing that we're going to want to do on this is we're going to want to go on ahead and take out our oil filter so for that you should just be able to twist it counterclockwise and it should come right off all right guys so now that we're done draining the oil and we got the oil filter off we're going to go on ahead and reinstall our drain plug uh, drain plug again is a size 15 uh, millimeter um, socket uh, or wrench uh, or it looks like that there is a Torx bit uh, on this right here that you can go on ahead and uh, and use to remove this as well which I didn't see earlier so that's kind of a cool thing. Alright now we got our bolt back in there's no need to over tighten that at all right there uh, you just want to snug it up right there don't go don't go crazy on it. All right guys, so now the next step that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna change out the oil filter on it. Uh, I'm using a Mobile One oil filter, part number is M1-113A. So we wanna go ahead and pull that out of there. And then, now one thing that you wanna do uh, for the oil, uh, when I was uh, looking at this right here, we wanna do uh, a 530 Dexos is what uh, what I was told uh, that they use at the dealership. Uh, so we're gonna go on ahead and uh, use this. And uh, first things first is we're gonna put a little bit of oil around the rim of the uh, oil with the oil filter right there. That way uh, it'll go on ahead and help it seal up uh, pretty good. Dip our finger in the oil right there a little bit. And then we're just gonna, like I said, just kind of rub our finger around the perimeter of that just to help it uh, seal up when we go to install it here. All right, All right so right here is where we're gonna put the oil filter on the car. So we're just gonna take the oil filter and set it up there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and thread it on there. And again, no reason to over tighten these. Uh, hand tight is gonna be just fine on this. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get up top and we'll fill up the engine with oil. All right, now from what I was looking up, it should take about 4.2 quarts. Yeah, let's try that. And we'll go on ahead and reinstall our oil cap. Go. All right, and then we will go on ahead and start the car. We'll let it fill the oil filter, and then we'll come back and we'll recheck our oil level, and we'll see where we're at and if we need to add any more oil. Looks like it needs just a little bit more, so we'll go on ahead and top it off. Alright, let's see where that gets us to. That looks good. 
All right, guys. Now, one thing is, is whenever you check, whenever you change your oil, if it's on like an incline, you want to try and make your car as level as possible. Um, and then after you're done, put it on level ground and check your oil level. And you should see there is two dots on your oil dipstick, uh, or there's also a crosshatch section. So you just want to make sure that your oil is within that crosshatch section uh, and not above it or below it. So that's that's what you're going for. All right, guys, so that's all there is to changing the oil and the oil filter in your 2018 Chevy Cruze LT. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It greatly helps out, and uh, we'll see you on the next project. Thanks.